hello welcome back this is question 10 if this is the first video you are seeing in the playlist please kindly go to my youtube channel there is a playlist titled igcse mathematics paper 4 3 or uh, may june 2024 there are nine videos there for questions one to nine question 10 a find the derivative of y with respect to x so this is um, y so that means the y dx will be equals to 7 multiplied by x to the power of 6 minus 6 times 7 that is 42 then x to the power of 5 so we have 7 x to the power of 6 minus 42 x to the power of 5 part b find the equation of the tangent to the graph of y equals to x to the power of 7 minus 7x to the power of 6 at the point x equals to negative 1. Give your answer in the form y equals to mx plus c. Okay, so we need to get the gradient. So the gradient m is equals to the y dx, but we just got the y dx to be this. So that implies that the y dx, which is the gradient, okay, will be equals to um, 7 into bracket x equals to negative 1 to the power of 6 then minus 42 into negative 1 to the power of 5 so that will be equals to so this will be positive 1 so times 7 that will be 7 so this will be negative 1 times negative of 42 so that will be positive 42 okay so the gradient m will be equals to 49 okay so uh, we need to find the value of y when x equals to negative 1, okay? So, we can say when x equals to negative 1, so what will be the value of y? So, y will be equals to x to the power of um, positive 7, so that will be negative 1 to the power of 7, then minus 7 to the power, uh, minus 7 into minus 1 to the power of 6, Okay, so this will give us the value of y, and here this will be negative, so it will be equals to uh, negative 1. So this will be positive, so positive 1 times negative 7 will be negative 7, so that means the value of y will be equals to negative 8. Okay, so that means the equation passes through the point uh, x equals to negative 1, y equals to negative 8. Okay, so this information uh, is sufficient for us to get the uh, equation um, to find the equation of the tangent to the graph so so the equation will be y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 so y minus open bracket y1 is negative a equals to the gradient is equals to 49 then into bracket x minus uh, negative 1 like this so uh, this and this will become positive. We have y plus a equals to 49 into so this and this will also be positive x plus 1. So if you expand, we have y plus 8 equals to 49 x plus 49. So if we rearrange, we have y to be equals to 49 x plus 49 minus 8. So y equals to 49x plus, um, that would be 41, okay? So y equals to, so let's come here and write here. So y is equals to um, 49x my, uh, plus 41. So that would be uh, the solution to that uh, question. So part C, the graph of y equals to x to the power of 7 minus 7x to the power of 6 as two turning points okay so find the coordinates of this point so you must show all your working so that means at turning point the y ds equals to zero and don't forget that the y we got the y ds to be 7x to the power of 6 then minus 42x to the power of 5 to be equals to zero okay so this is the y dx and at turning point the, the y dx equals to zero so here we can factor out 7x to the power of 5 so we'll be left with x here then minus uh, 6 here equals to zero 
So 7x to the power of 5 equals to 0 implies x equals to 0. And x minus 6 equals to 0 implies x equals to 6. Okay, so um, so we want to find the coordinates. So when x equals to 0, okay, so at x equals to 0, so if you substitute x equals to 0 into this, so y will be equals to um, 0, okay? So y will be equals to 0, so we don't need to waste time on that. So at x equals to 6 now, so at x equals to 6, okay? So y will be equals to, I think we need to, okay, let's do that from there. Let's scroll up. Okay, I think I can just say it y equals to x, that is 6 to the power of 7, then minus 7 into 6 to the power of 6. So if you do this straight away, you should get y to be equals to uh, negative 4, 6, um, 6, 5, 6. So here you can see when x equals to 0, y equals to 0, and when x equals to 6, y equals to negative 4, 6, 6, 5, 6. So that will be the solution to that question. So that will be the end of my solution to question 10. In the next video, I will solve uh, the last question, which is question 11. Until then, have your fingers crossed.